We now know the name of the Bloomingdale High School student shot and killed during a Halloween party in Fanona Sassa. Detectives have identified her as 15-year-old Lacey Gilaleu, and they are still looking for her killer. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer is live at the sheriff's office for us. So, Aaron, how are her loved ones holding up? Well, it's tough, Al. You can imagine. Lacey, we're told, was just laid to rest uh, two days ago. We talked with one of her closest friends. She says she's still uh, just incredibly heartbroken, just like family members are, about, about what happened, about having a friend lose their life so soon. Lacey May Gilileu's family wants people to know who she was. They want the community to see the face of a teenager whose life was cut short and whose killer is still on the loose. In a public Facebook post November 2nd, Lacey's mother wrote, quote, we lost our beautiful, loving, compassionate, free-spirited ladybug. This loss is indescribable. Detectives are hard at work to bring justice to our baby girl. I heard a lot of gunfire. A few houses down from Barry Brinson's home at the Notasassa, people gathered on Halloween for a party. Party goers told us there were about 100 people there. Lacey was one of them. At about 2.15 a.m., a fight broke out and someone started shooting. Hours later, Brinson described the chaotic scene. I came on the porch and you could see people running down the road and you could see the cars. And I heard one scream, oh, high five -oh is on their way, get the f out of here. Witnesses told us party goers ran for their lives. Hillsborough detectives say Lacey was hit by a bullet as she tried to jump into a car to escape. She was driven to a nearby gas station and then rushed to the hospital but she didn't make it. It's terrible. I mean, it's just absolutely a terrible thing and to lose it, somebody that young. After finding out that someone was Lacey, a family friend organized an online fundraiser, writing, quote, Lacey was a bright-eyed, beautiful soul that was loved by so many. Her free spirit and compassionate heart made impacts on so many people. And a teenage boy was also shot. He was expected to make a full recovery. The sheriff's office today had no update on their investigation. Allie, we're obviously going to keep following this, and anybody with information should call the sheriff's office. And you got to imagine that someone there at that party saw who had the gun and who was shooting. At least you hope that someone Absolutely. will come forward. All right, Aaron, thanks.